A country in the grip of drought and cities in the midst of water restrictions, a tired government sensed the political threat. Australia will move towards a domestic emissions trading system. But it was too late. Kevin 07 rode a wave of public sentiment that demanded action. Climate change is the great moral challenge of our generation. In his first act as Prime Minister, Rudd ratified the Kyoto Agreement, capping Australia's greenhouse gas emissions. So it's with great honour that I present this instrument of ratification. A carbon pollution reduction scheme was developed and a deal done with bipartisan support. I will not lead a party that is not as committed to effective action on climate change. But the Liberal leader misread the mood and was toppled by Tony Abbott leaving Labor isolated on the right and left. The thing that the Australian Parliament did today was save the Prime Minister from himself. He was forced to shelve the CPRS and in abandoning his principle, his party abandoned him. Julia Gillard seized the leadership in a late night coup and called an election. There will be no carbon tax under the government I lead. But those words would come back to haunt her. I don't want to mince any words that works effectively like a tax. Gillard did what Rudd couldn't, legislating an emissions trading scheme and a price on carbon with the support of the Greens. Yes! This parliament today has seized the future. She lied, she lied to you! I don't think your working mothers are going to be very happy when they're paying over $100 for a roast. We don't want a carbon tax. A relentless campaign saw another leader pay a political price for a carbon price and helped Tony Abbott sweep to power. Direct action was in, the carbon tax was out. Today the tax that you voted to get rid of is finally gone. Consigned to the dustbin of history by both sides. Labor will not introduce a carbon tax. A deeply unpopular Tony Abbott was deposed, but Malcolm Turnbull took his target to Paris to cut emissions by 26 to 28 per cent by 2030. He then set about restoring the coalition's climate credentials. Well, the party room has today overwhelmingly supported the national energy guarantee. He was close to getting Labor's support too, but once again, climate action would be his undoing. Now, in politics, you have to focus on what you can deliver. The neg was dead, along with another prime ministership. And again, the climate dynamic shifted. This is coal. Don't be afraid. The Don't treasure. be scared. Labor shifted its focus to renewables and more ambitious emissions reduction targets. Our policy will take real action on climate change. And they're reckless targets on emissions. But just as it had in 07, extreme weather forced climate to the forefront and forced a climate conversion. Our goal is to reach net zero emissions as soon as possible and preferably by 2050. So began a months long campaign to drag the coalition climate warriors along with him. The answer is technology not taxes. In the end, the coalition couldn't ignore the momentum. The world was moving and Australia was at risk of being left out in the cold. We are in support of a process going forward that would uh, go towards the 2050 emissions target. I'm very pleased that, that uh, the coalition have adopted Labor's position of net zero by 2050. A deal was done just in time for Scott Morrison to fly to Glasgow. A firm commitment to net zero in hand and with it he hopes a ceasefire in the coalition's climate wars. Jane Norman, ABC News, Canberra.